Alright, this little cute lesson here, we're talking about last. Okay, the word last, and I thought of three good uses of fra simple phrases that have to do with last, and they all mean slightly different but important things, all three of them. So listen up, watch a whole video, and then go to Learn English 232. But anyway, last resort. Good, we're starting off with a good one. All right, if you do something as a last resort, that means that you've got a bunch of options and you say, I'm only going to do that as a last resort. So if I can't do my first option, I can't do my second option, I can't do my third option, then I will do this. So it's the worst option that you have and then you're going to do it. So an example will help because that's probably a weird sounding explanation. So a lot of governments, and I think they lie probably when they say this, but well, to some extent, but they say we're going to go to war, right, fighting other country only as a last resort. So we're first going to try to talk to them and have peace. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to try maybe not giving them any money and something like that. We're going to try a bunch of things. And if we still don't get our way, then we're going to have war. So we're, our first choice is to do, you know, a friendly agreement. If that doesn't work, we're going to try our second choice. If that doesn't work, we're going to try our third choice. And if that none of those things work, we're going to do war. We're going to fight the country. We're only doing it as a last resort. And hopefully they do war as a last resort because war is killing the world. It's a terrible thing, but that, that's a way that this last resort thing is used. After they've done all their other options, your last resort is your last option that you're going to do. Uh, last choice. Okay, so that means your last choice. A little bit different than last resort. So imagine I just have a bunch of different choices. And, you know, like, let's say I'm going on a trip, going on a holiday, and I haven't decided yet where I'm going to go. So I've got three weeks vacation time. I'm thinking country A, country B, country C. And I know you guys are probably from these countries. That's why I don't like to use examples, just so no one's like, oh, why don't you like my country? Because actually, I like going to lots of countries. But... If I say, you know, actually, that's my first choice, second choice, and that actually that country, I'll go there on the trip if you guys really want to, but it's my last choice. So I'd rather go everywhere else or, you know, going to just choosing something simple like a restaurant. Right. I could say that's, you know, I don't I don't want to go there. That's my last choice. I will go, but it's the worst option on the entire list for me. My opinion is that's the worst option on the list, my last choice. Uh, last place is an interesting one, a little different yet again. Um, so, you're, so if you come in last place, it means you finish the worst. You are the worst. So someone could say, how did your basketball team do this year? And I could say, oh, we sucked. We came in last place. So imagine there's eight teams in the league, they all play together, and we got eight, the very bottom. So first place is the best team, second place, third place, blah, 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 last place is the worst. So if you come in last place, you did the worst. How did you do on your test? I sucked, came in last place in the whole class. I was the worst in the class, came in last place. Or how did, you know, I don't know. Anytime there's that type of thing and you're the worst, you came in last place. That's what last place means. So now you've got these three cute little, I don't know why I'm saying cute, but just because it's a one word, I guess. These three short phrases, highly effective and useful. So remember them all, learn the difference. Start using them in your spoken English. It's going to always get that little bit better. So you won't be in last place. You're going to be in first place. Check out the site as usual, www.learnenglish232.com. We'll see you tomorrow.